and I want to brief you all about uh, monsoon wages. Now, why do I call them monsoon wages? As our previous speaker said, no need of any seeds or anything for them. They grow on their own. Uh, permit me to use some little bit of company words here and there. I hope everyone yeah. understands that. Now, I'll start directly, I'll start attacking the monsoon wages. You all must have heard about something called kudduk bhaji. Kuddu bhaji is a green color plant which just grows anywhere and it starts with uh, the monsoon. Now you don't need to plant, you don't need to put any seed, you don't need to do. Only thing is it gets uh, growing, it gets growing on its own. Now I'll tell you about kuddu bhaji, it's a very good bhaji. You just have to remove the leaves, the tender leaves and you have to cut them and, uh, and just as we do the yeah. other, make the other bhaji, you can make it like that with a little bit of onion and coconut and things like that and a little bit of dal in it and it tastes the best going to the next is uh, we have alu 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 grows mostly in marshy lands alu, alu it is called and it's a stem it's a red color stem stem plant with a big broad leaf tere 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 you can also call it tere or alu they call it now you can use the stem of it also break and make a dish like how you do samare or, or with a little bit of uh, dal or a little bit of uh, soli and all of that and the leaf also can be made uh, just as how we make uh, bizonche like how we have this uh, wauchi bhaji and all those things like you know the same way so the leaf now that is called alu then there is something called um, tere uh, sorry not tere um, tarkilo 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 we call it taupua. It just grows on any roadside or anything. You just have to remove the tender leaves of it and, and you can make a really good bhaji. It is a little slightly bitterish in taste. Taupiyachi bhaji. Taupiyachi bhaji. It is slightly bitter in, bitterish in taste but can be uh, used for... It's, uh, I'm, I'm talking about now the medicinal values. It has got lots of medicinal values. Then I go to uh, something called the other things which grow around like uh, uh, a moringa tree. Just the tender leaves of moringa tree also gives you. Plus during rains you can grow all sorts of bhajis. I, you all can ask me and I can tell you which are the bhajis. You can get tamdi bhaji, you can get uh, 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 gosali, podoi, toshi. These are all monsoon vegetables. Uh, they can be grown other time of the year also too. But, but in better to be grown during the rainy season. Now, in addition to that, there are many other plants, many other trees, but only thing is one has to be a little careful in selecting them and choosing them and removing them. Now, if you want to ask anything, uh, in a, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm a bit in a hurry, plus I have to give a little talk on, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, the benefits of home gardening. So that I'll keep it a little later. If you want to ask anything about this, or if anything, anyone knows anything or wants to know anything beyond that, you all can ask me. Yes. Now, provided you make a little bit of a bed, you, you, you put a... And it should not be in too much of rains. It has to be when the rain is light, it has to grow a little bit. And make a mud bed, removing all the weeds and things like that. And make it a little higher. To see that, and you have to ensure that no water, much water remains, or you have to make it slightly sloping on all things. And at the same time, as you said, you have to be careful because there are insects also which destroys the leaves the, of, uh, the, of the tamdi bhaji. Now, it's not advisable now, but it, there's nothing that you cannot grow during uh, rain. Ah, see, uh, your question. Uh, you, how do you uh, this thing, the chili plant from the white? You have chili plants. Yeah. You see, they tested a lot with the white fly. Yeah. You see a lot there Just the like how you treat any other plant uh, by uh, some insecticide or something. What is your organic? Uh, organic is the neem. Uh, you can use only the neem cake, neem leaves, neem neem thing. But if you go to any of these fertilizer shops or uh, uh, agriculture department or anywhere or sabi at maps or sabi, they'll give you lots of things. You just have to apply it to the stem and all which I think most of the plants in Goa have it. Uh, some insect or the other trying to attack it and you have to take care of it. Now, anything else? Can you talk about the protective type of plants that you do that 
protects your other kind of plants because you grow them, that is a protect. So you have you got a even tell us and I want to protect chili from something else. What else can I grow around it? Because if I remember you were saying barve, yes remember we used to do it. That time when you planted chili trees, you planted wal. Wal. Yes. So all the things are not there. Go there. Go there. Chili is fully protected. Correct. All you will see always in this plantation where people are planting, you will see them having the marigold trees. Marigold. Rosas. Rosas. Right. Have you any idea which are the companion plants? Uh, no, but I, as far as I, my practical experience in Warwe, I can tell you. Okay. In, uh, in, in Warwe, when we used to plant uh, chili trees or onions, mm -hmm. we started with uh, the seed and then it becomes wool. You have to have small, small uh, patches and then you have, all these things have to be transplanted. Now, while transplanting, we used to put, as you said, one uh, uh, rose, uh, rosa chizad. We used to put a maize. A moko, moko. Then we used to, you know, in between uh, one plant of uh, maize, then in between uh, uh, virvil, then sometimes uh, a little bit of uh, mule, uh, mulobaji or mulobaji. Normally, no, uh, no uh, when the chili uh, things you are growing, you can't. You have to have separate mule, mule beds, mulo beds, uh, coal uh, nabi uh, that is called. Uh, 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 sorry, nab, 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 nab. Then. Um, uh, plus, in addition to that, we used to have uh, many other things. Sanswa cheese, Sanswa, Sanswa you can grow, Shopa you can grow. There are some insects which uh, may get diverted when you plant these trees around, these things around. Now, in addition to that, uh, you can have uh, many other things like uh, how we used to do in villages, uh, like uh, you know, when we ha used to have kunge, each person handling one one kunga or two two, two kunge is given to them. Each one is to have their own ways of, uh, you know, protect, trying to protect whatever they are growing. You got my point, what I was saying? But normally, these are the things which are... You will find tamri bhaji kept also for se seeding, uh, seeding. You see, tamri bhaji. Keeping f for seeding is one reason is uh, for getting the seed ready. At the same time, it takes care of insects, some sort of insects. Uh, tamri bhaji grown, you will mostly find uh, all of a sudden in a big patch of... Uh, other things growing, uh, tamri bhaji kept in between uh, growing. Now, uh, brinjal trees, brinjals, brinjals, this uh, local varieties, I, I mean to say. Then, uh, I'll have to think Very of. interesting question uh, here, yeah. because our friend uh, is, a, is a retired teacher from SFX, uh, Shoni know. in maths. I know him. In maths and sciences. I know him. But, uh, you know, Oswald, my, uh, there are people here with various backgrounds and I have the least knowledge. Yeah. But I also think that uh, much of this local knowledge is not captured and not available in print or in writing yeah. or yeah. In, on the internet or something. Yeah. So, so, so it becomes very difficult. But I'm sure many others would have their own. So aspect. I'll request 15, 15. You write it, I'll publish it. Very good. It's very, it's a good, good uh, protective uh, thing like to put the ash. Yes. Yeah, and then spray the powder, uh, ash mm -hmm. or something like that. Small interruption. Yeah. Our, our friend who's asking our question, actually for those who know, is the brother of teacher Ephraim, who was a very popular uh, maths teacher in our village, so okay. in our local school. So he's come all the way from Salset. Okay. For that matter, your ash, uh, ash method also helps other plants also. And it's a good uh, way of uh, protecting from certain, some, some type of insects and some type of uh, some, some small creatures and all that. Yeah, in, uh, in addition to that, if anyone wants, you can ask something on on uh, monsoon healthy veggies. Uh, if you all want anything. Kudu bhaji. Kudu bhaji. Kudu bhaji. Kudu bhaji. Kudu bhaji. Yeah, uh, you it's go around, around roadside. anywhere. Roadside. Yeah. Road, you can't grow sorry. it. It's grown on the no, roadside. No, you don't have to grow it. It's already there. It's there. It's there. The, once it starts raining, you'll find it coming up. Then many a times cows and other uh, thing, other uh, animals may eat it. Whatever remains is yours. Now you should not allow it to grow too big also. At, at a certain stage you have to remove the tender leaves of it. And Now there are some kudu bhajis which, has, which have a red stem but green leaves. There are kudu bhajis which have a green stem and green leaves. 
I would have done all this. I would have brought it. I normally because I give uh, corporate talks and all for uh, schools and colleges and all that. So I would have brought it, but uh, my friend Rico thing. told me just yeah, yesterday. Eleven ta, eleven ta. Uh, just yesterday and today. I didn't even. I normally. I was asking him whether I should do a slide show or projection and things like that because I am normally in the habit of doing that when I do it. Because I, my things have to be very perfect, and I like that. But I didn't get time. I'll, I'll next time I'll, I'll remove some Kudu Baji and now next when I meet you next I'll bring Kudu Baji and I'll come to show you Kudu Baji. I feel it's uh, by uh, by. This is Kudu Baji in Kelsey. Yeah, it's a family family. Same family. Same family. I'm going to grow it. Come to me just close. Just hold it. Yeah, it will be so easy from there. Environment. Environment. Ah, uh, now good to buy here. Yeah. Local bhajis. Local bhajis, you mean to say the ones? Monsoon bhaji. Monsoon bhaji. The kuddu bhaji. I can just go out. Uh, let it start raining. I'll bring Talkula and show you. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you. Uh, 9921. You just speak in the mic. Yeah. Sorry. 9921. Five six twenty seven twenty seven. My name is Oswald Pinto. Nine nine two one five six twenty seven twenty seven. Nine nine two one five six twenty seven. Now, gentlemen, as you said, uh, I don't know which part of Goa you are. Goa. Not too far. You can just call me. That we can talk later. That you can uh, talk later because I'm into one. three four things in a day. I went to a little bit of law, law consult. Yeah, but the problem is I'll have to give you a time between 8 and 9 o'clock in the night, which is not... But I'll You can work it out one to one outside. I'll, I'll try to make it. I'll try to make it. Yeah. Anything else anyone wants to know? Because little bit of journalism, little bit of law, little bit of... Uh, or, sorry? You can grow. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. No coal. No coal is do not during the rainy season. It's a winter. Winter crop. Not. Not. Yeah. Or even reddish mullow and all, they have to gather. Means they grow. What we do is uh, we have a warm season. That is the time we grow all these. Anything else? Any anyone else? Otherwise, I'll wind up one topic and yeah, I'll start yeah, yeah. my other topic. Please, please. Okay. Then I go to, uh, as I have been told, to also brush up uh, to give us a brief idea of uh, the benefits of home gardening. Now home gardening, any Tom Dick and area has a small compound, everyone will have a small compound, you can do uh, home gardening. Now I have been just the other day to a, a friend of mine who called me, he has only this small patches of land, this small, and he is trying his luck to grow tamari bhaji, young brinjal there, tomatoes there, and what is this, uh, Thailandese, uh, Thailand type of uh, uh, tomatoes. And now you can do that on trial basis. At the same time now, people have started growing them on their terraces uh, in small boxes and uh, plastic, even in plastic. And I was surprised that you can do like this, like you know, you can grow it in a plastic, uh, half cut plastic uh, barrel or something like that, with uh, uh, sufficient mud and things put in it. And then when it needs, uh, uh, what do you call it, sunlight, you can uh, take the box towards the sunlight and when, it's, uh, when you don't need it, you can keep it up like this. You know, there are things like that. You can do even your neighbor, in your neighborhood, or in your on your terrace. Even now, I have seen people growing cucumbers uh, horizontally on sticks on the terrace, and you will find lots of cucumbers coming. So, uh, benefits, uh, or, or I should say, uh, home gardening, it really helps. It keeps you busy. You grow your own vegetables, and at the same time. Uh, uh, it's a hobby, as 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 any other hobby, which keeps you, uh, which keeps you happy when you see the fruit coming and the things growing. Now, uh, other than that, uh, you uh, finally you see your own vegetable growing, and not necessary to use artificial N, P, K, and things like that. You can do it with, as uh, Nestor has told, with a little bit of organic thing. Like as the gentleman was saying, you can put little ash. Or a little bit of uh, uh, dried cow dung, 
not advisable, but you can do that. And then a uh, little bit of your waste uh, uh, leaves and things like that, composted, that can be put. And you can get a wonderful thing, not necessary to have your yuri or sampurana and all those things. You can do it with your own things which you have in your own compound. Now, and these are organic things which are also good for your health and you can really live happily. That's the benefits of uh, home gardening. I'm just forgetting some things. Uh, maybe, uh, means if, if you all can remind me or if you all can ask, I can answer you all over anything on, on home gardening, the, the benefits of home gardening. About? No, all like that. Uh, you have to take care of everything. You have to take care of sunlight. You have to take care of educate watering. You have to take care of uh, uh, manuring. Insects. Now for insects also some pesticides. But at the same time you should not use too harsh pesticides. They are bad for the plant and bad for you also. Because sometimes uh, you know some things uh, get going through the fruit and this uh, and uh, and the, um, this thing with the fruit whatever the vegetable you are going to eat it. So you should not use very harsh. Though they tell you in agriculture department here and there that you can use DDT powder, you can use this and that and all. Or some uh, for ants, uh, white ants and things like that. They'll tell you thymate, uh, thymate or something. You know. So try to avoid those type of very harsh things. You can use your, the, as this gentleman said, ash also is a good thing. There are so many other things you can have. Uh, yeah. Yes, powder there. That, that can be also. Powder. Yes, yeah. neem, 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 kodu neem, uh, kodu neem tree uh, leaves. You dry them, make them into powder, and sprinkle them. That also helps. Yeah. Finally, we also get neem cakes and neem uh, fertilizers in uh, neem oil. Yeah. yeah, they are available in the market. But you know you should not use to uh, as I told you uh, for small delicate plants you should not use uh, too much of a, uh, you know too much of a quantity and thing like that it should it should be proportionate proportionate to that anything else anyone else 